video recording. Alright, this is going to be a quick kefir update test video. I got some lights around the kitchen. We'll see how it works out. Over here, hidden by this cloth, I have some kefir and second stage ferment and first stage ferment and let's see what this looks like oh, stuff on the floor here see some little floaties in there Oh yeah, grains are getting huge. Let's see if I can chase that. Okay, let's see. We're gonna need. Some turbinado and some grandma's molasses. Not paid for any of these endorsements. Teaspoon measure, and I need a tablespoon measure. That tablespoon disappears from time to time. Don't have any idea of where it is. Found it. We're also going to need. Faded stainless, yes, stainless steel is fine. It's non reactive. And if it's any sign on these grains that I'm going to show you, is that they're completely happy. So we also need a bottle. Now I've added something to my kefir process. I've added this valve here. It's like a gas air valve exchange because when I open these to burp them, they are likely to explode. There's so much pressure, it's hard to keep it contained. And it just, everything comes out after two days and it's crazy. So, this one, is ready to go. So we're just going to set this. Notice it's just this little. I think it's focusing there. Yes. Little valve. It's got three parts in it. It's fine. This. Notice it didn't explode when I opened it. So we have to give it a little taste. This is just, I only add a little bit, I added a little bit of honey to this. No fruit. You can add fruit. We don't have any fruit ready right now. That there is rich with bacteria that's healthy for you. Still carbonated, still fizzy. My off-camera assistant wants to try some. Here, come over here. Just put your hand right here. <laughs> come on! <laughs> off-camera assistant's gonna try it. Good? I don't like it. It's not salty. 
It's healthy, right? Oh, I love it. It's great. Okay, so you know what? What happens here is this goes in the fridge. This one comes out of the fridge, it's almost done, so we'll just finish that up. Now, this is super easy. Make sure that alcohol. Okay. Well, if we're going to do that, if we're going to do the hydrometer test, then we need, where's my big picture? Plastic one? Yeah. Take this. Strain this. Oh boy, these grains are huge. Now, one thing that some people they change everything up, but me, I keep using the same jar over and over. I'll let you take a look at these grains here. Look at that. There's a lot of grains. Yeah. They doubled, tripled on the last one and now they're getting huge so we need another non reactive stainless spoon Why not? and what I do is man they're so heavy it's like I should weigh them next time so I got some new jars in the mail on the way some bigger jars so I can make a larger quantity and I'm going to take these grains that basically I'm just keeping them alive right now I'm going to split them into two two pint jars that have that don't have the mesh but they're going to have a, a valve lid that has the same mechanism that the brewers use Now one thing we're going to do is we're going to wash that. Wash what? The feet, the Yeah, I have it all set to go. They sanitize, but we're not doing beer here, so yes, it's fine. We're not putting the liquid back into the bottle, so it'll be it'll be wasted, or we'll drink it, or whatever. Oh, okay. But we need more. So we can do these tests. Let's see where this comes in at. Make sure it's not on the side. I think you have to do only one time only, right? Well, no, you got to do two, but I'm talking. No, every time that you have to do every time. No. And I can see the bubbles and everything in there. It's great. This is right at 1%, which is awesome, and 0% alcohol, or maybe 0 0.0001, so barely nothing in there. So we're testing it now, and we're going to test it again after two days in this bottle, we'll see how that goes. I'm sure you can put back in the container. 
Well, it is my, um, I'm the only one drinking it, so. Okay, I'm sure you can put it back in the container. Yeah. I'm drinking it too, so I need to put fruit in it. Well, we don't have any fruit ready, so. Right now we're just keeping them alive, and tomorrow we'll have the, we'll have the big, see how much this is fizzing. We do have some little tiny gnats because it's summertime and they, the bugs, love this stuff. That's a pretty good batch. We're going to need more bottles. We're going to need more. So, you got six bottles. You got a bunch of bottles? We have six bucks. Okay. Here's the next important part. This one goes over here. And then now we show the secrets that we've learned. For this one, what I'm going to do is measure the exact water that I put in because I haven't done that before and I need to start working on my science. But this water is spring water. Spring water has naturally occurring minerals. Instead of putting salt, or anything else in here. No fruit. We do that in the second stage. So I'm going to do two cups. Okay. I think this will hold one more cup. But what I'm going to do with this second cup is our third cup. There's nobody peeing in the background by the way. That's just my water my wife filling up a water jug. A little overflowing tablespoon. And a tablespoon of grandma's plus a little because some sticks in the spoon and you'll never get it off what I do is <coughs> pour this water in like so then I use this spoon to stir it up Bicarbonate of soda, aka baking soda. We just need one eighth of a teaspoon. Stir. And I guess what that does scientifically is neutralizes the pH level, which is the magic bullet for getting this water kefir to grow like crazy. This goes over here. And take the 
this stopper off for one last thing here. I need to add one tablespoon, which is just what I do paid in the second ferment stage. I got these nifty gadgets from a brewer supply in Westerville, Ohio. So they were like a dollar twenty-five. They're one ninety-nine online plus shipping. Uh, so that's a pretty good deal to walk in and get them for that price. Very little tax. And they now have a permanent customer. Because they have hosing and other containers and jugs and sterilizer and all kinds of stuff for brewers, but it works for kefir people too. So that's it. We'll see what it looks like in two days. All right.